Hi, so I just wanna do an updated, you know, my BDD story. It started, I remember, I, it started around 11, 12, when I was 11 or 12 years old, and um, I asked my mom if I can have hair extensions. At this time, hair extensions wasn't even really out there, so I had to go, you know, get it braided and like the weave and stuff, and ever since then, till about right now I'm gonna be 34 um, that's a long time wearing hair extensions and I'm trying my hardest to just grow my hair because I'm tired of like the fakeness I'm tired of like you know I'm just trying to BDD has no cure you can't do anything about it you can go to therapy you can take pills but the only way you can get better is if you want to get better and it's so easy to say because I tell myself that every day and it doesn't work um, and I think around like high school I just wanted to be I always wanted to look like Princess Jasmine like a doll like no matter what I did I always wanted like black hair long black hair and I always just wanted um, to look more Middle Eastern I know you know comments whatever but I'm just telling you guys the truth I really wanted to be Middle Eastern and um, you know I wanted like a small nose and I really wanted to look like a doll um, and then high school, I didn't finish high school. I barely went to school because when I did, I would I would go home and then re wash my face, take a bath again, redo my makeup, and then go back to school just to feel a little bit better. So I didn't graduate high school, it was just terrible. I would just cry and cry and cry, and of course my family never took me seriously. They thought I wanted to get attention. And then um, I think I was about like around 20, all I did was drink and go out and and then every time every time I would go out with my friends before and I saw a pretty girl I would tell them like I'm sick or whatever just to go home to the point like I would take a taxi from wherever I was just to go home because I was like sick um and then it just went on and on and on and no matter what I did like I don't know is it because my mom always tells me that I always have to be like presentable but BDD is crazy. BDD is just not BDD. You literally, you have OCD, which you keep checking in the mirror and analyzing and looking at yourself and nitpicking and all that kind of stuff. And then with BDD also comes like panic. You have panic disorder. Like you get panic attacks. Well, I get panic attacks from looking at myself and I don't like what I see. And, and then I'm hypochondriac, I'm scared. To get sick I'm scared to do anything like touch things I'm just going crazy I feel like I'm really really going crazy whenever and then I have this thing I don't I can't pronounce it, it starts with a O it's like a it, I think Japanese Koreans or whatever it came from Korea but I had this ever since I was 12 I I'm scared to smell like I would till this day I would bathe like so many times I'd brush my teeth so many times um, I'd wash my face like so many times during the day, if I don't like my makeup, I take it all off and then I do it again. And makeup is not just like two minutes for me, it's literally like two hours because each eyelash has to be perfect. This eye has to match this eye. Um, everything has to be like, what is that? Sim the symmetry, I guess, of my face. Like, I want it to be exactly the same, like this side and that side exactly the same, but I know. There's no way you could really do that because that's just like being, you want to be perfect. And the funny thing is, I want to be perfect. I want to look like a doll. I want to look, I don't want to look, um, I'm not saying like chinky eyes are bad or anything like that. But for me, I always wanted like eyelids and like big eyelids like this. It's still healing. Like you see that I have to put a little bit of eyeshadow because it's like heloiding here. But I'll make another video about blepharoplasty. Um, and then, I don't know. And then when I feel I'm like presentable that I can go out or whatever. And then me and my son take a selfie and I look so bad. It's just killing me. Like, I went to like therapy. I'm taking these pills for anxiety, OCD, and to help me just calm down, 
um, I went to like the BDD center in LA, like the main BDD center to help me, you know, feel better about myself and like cognitive therapy, behavioral therapy, and it just doesn't work. Okay, everyone thinks I'm stubborn, like you have to keep going, you have to keep going, it will help you. I went for how many years? And it worked at that time, but then when I went home, all that positivity just went away. It just, because body dysmorphic disorder, along with all other like OCD, etc., there is no cure, okay? There is no cure. It is up to you, well, it's up to me to get better. And I always tell myself, you know, no one can help you but yourself. I believe that 100%. But I do try to help myself. I do everything I can. You know, I'm trying to go out with no makeup. I'm trying to just be normal and be happy. But every time I glance at a mirror, it's just like, I never look at mirrors except for the one in my car, um, a few, like in my bathroom. But like, if I go shopping or something, I will never try anything on because I don't like how the lighting is. And I'm really big on like lighting because a lot of lights, I just look like this is how I explain myself to my therapist like I feel like short like the the what is it Notre Dame Notre Dame the hunchback Notre Dame okay and like my face is sagging kind of like Beauty and the Beast you know like the candle what's his name the chandelier candle thing and then he's melting I feel like my face is melting um I feel like this thing right here is like taking up too much and my nose even though I got a rhinoplasty it's like really really big and then my buckle fat is like gone and I wish I never did that either because I don't know my my old videos I was about like almost 140 pounds because all I did was drink alcohol alcohol and eat and that made me happy for a little bit and then I took Xanax with that and then I ended up in rehab so I haven't been on Xanax for like two years but um, it's starting up again I I don't know I don't know why you know but it's just hard like I've been living with BDD for like a, more than a decade like 20 years I don't know how I'm still like standing up I don't know how I'm still here I'm depressed all the time all I I can't even have friends because I'm always just thinking about how I look and are they judging me and like I don't care what people think but it's it's just hard because everywhere I go there's someone pretty and someone someone like some someone tall and I don't know bigger eyes I don't know just I just don't want to look like myself and I've been exercising a lot so from 140 now I'm like 105 when I was when I lost weight and I was 120 I was like just make me 115 and I'll be so happy got to 115 um, okay just be like 110 and you'll be happy so I got that I was 110 I was miserable still right now I'm still miserable like, I don't I don't know like people say I'm skinny and I'm petite but then my stomach from like six seven times of lipo it's like flabby and I don't know like I don't I guess body dysmorphic is like typical now because I'm hearing it everywhere like it's just like you know like a, a normal thing but I don't I don't think that because you're you're really overweight and then you lose weight and you look in the mirror and you cry because you still look big and you don't really look um, like you lost weight people on the news and everything are calling that BDD that's not BDD. BDD is not BDD is not oh I lost weight I took a picture I still look fat oh I must have body dysmorphic disorder because I don't see you know I don't see what I want to see in the mirror BDD is like when when I look at the mirror I feel deformed I feel retarded I feel like I look like like a deformed old chinky fat stumpy like that's what i see and from 
all my research and studying about body dysmorphic disorder, I realized that I have extreme, severe BDD. But I just don't think like it should be thrown around like, you know, oh, I have a, I dyed my hair blonde. I was black. I dyed my hair blonde. I look in the mirror. I can't recognize myself. I have BDD. That's not what it is. You could, it's not like you wake up and for some reason your left eye is smaller than your right eye because you slept on it. People are just going to be okay. You know, like, oh, I'm just tired. But me, like when I sleep, I don't sleep around my eyes like I always have like my hand like this or like this it's just tough I don't know I'm here I'm still here I know for my son that I love so much and I try so hard to be better for him um cause you know he he makes me so happy like when he's around it's like Nothing else matters. Why is the light like that? Anyways, um, so that's my updated story about BDD. I might do, I don't know if I should, what is that? If I should just do more plastic surgery um, videos or maybe just vlog about like how bad BDD is. But. I don't know, I guess we'll see.